Hello! So, today I was cleaning my room and packing stuff, getting ready to move to Alaska and I saw lots of grocery bags and I was like, everybody's got these. What can I do with these that would actually be productive? And I I like rope, I use rope for a lot of things and I was thinking, I can make some rope out of, the, out of that. So that's what we're going to do. So, plastic bags. I've got those that were just kind of like laying around all over the place. And then I've got those, which is the ones that we've been kind of holding on to for a little bit. So you might say I've got a bit of a problem when it comes to the plastic bags. There's a lot of them. So I was going to say we've got a couple different ways of making rope out of this. So um, first of all, we can uh, we could actually just take them as a bag and you've got this and it's kind of twisted and that actually has got a fair bit of strength so you can take a second one offset them just a little bit tie a knot in it if you can tie a knot uh, it's not quite as easy as it looks tie a knot and then you just take the two strands and you twist them over each other, like so. It's kind of like um, what you would do in your hair, if you ever have rope braided your hair, I don't know. But you just twist them, and that actually works quite nicely. And you get something that looks a bit like this. So when you're going along, and you get to the point where you get down into the handles of the bag, because I attached them together by the, the back end of the bag, all you've got to do is just take another bag, take the back end of it, which I believe that's the back end, yep that's the back end, you put it kind of in between the two handles of the first bag and you just keep twisting and the two handles will kind of wrap around it as you twist and you can actually get a fairly seamless integration of that, um, that next strand. So after just a couple of minutes, um, I spliced that together, put another bag in, so I spliced it. So this is a total of four bags, it's a length, it's not terribly long, but it took me, I don't know, maybe like two minutes to make this whole thing. And um, you can just tie a knot in the other end. And then you've got a length of rope. Now, I'm not saying that I have a specific use for a length of rope this long, but what I'm saying is that it took me about two, maybe three minutes to make a rope this long, and this is useful rope. I mean, like, I can't break it just like that. Um, I'm going to have some other stuff that I try doing with it, um, and we'll see how it goes, but that is twisted rope. Now, I'm sure some of you are saying, but Caleb, twisted rope's all very well and good. But don't you know that braided rope is stronger than twisted rope? To which I say, quite possibly it is. I actually, I've, I haven't seen side-by-side -side comparisons, but I can, I can believe so. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some braided rope here. So I actually was really impressed with how easily that went together. Um, I actually did a little bit of a test run of this video where, or to, just to practice making the ropes and so I actually like made them into like really thin strands and like wove them together and you can see I've got some really fine rope going on there, um, more like twine actually, um, which if you're interested in the twine I can, I can do a video later on, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. But I'm, I'm actually really impressed with how well that went together. Just, you know, just taking the bags as they are and um, putting that together. So that's what I decided to, to go with. So the, this braided rope is going to be stronger just because I'm using three strands, whereas I only use two strands for that. Um, I don't actually know how to do a three strand twisted rope by hand. Um, I know how to do it with a with a tool. 
but I don't know how to do it just by hand. So, unfortunately, I can't do a, a straight across comparison braided to twisted. But also, I feel like I feel like I just did a stupid. I did a stupid. All right. So, what I was gonna do is make it so that the loops of the next bag, you can use it to hook through the loops of the present bag. But I just realized that the back end of the bag does not have a loop on it. So that means that I'm gonna like loop this through there and then I won't be able to continue it. So I would like start to braid, which is pretty easy to do. But then when I go to add something, hold on. Hold on. What if I just take the bag like this? And just okay, make sure that you've got the whole bag, like the whole bottom of the bag there, so that you're not damaging the structural integrity of it. But just let's just poke a hole, shall we? And then like take the loops, feed that hole that we just made, then feed the handles through. So it maintains the same orientation. So the next one can be attached in just the same way. You just have this. Will that hold? That looks like it will hold. That actually should work just great. This is awesome. Okay, so what you do is you just do like a standard braid for hair. If you don't know how to do a standard braid for hair, um, well then, ask your sister. If she doesn't know, ask your mom. If she doesn't know, well then, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on how to braid hair. Because like, I feel like that's a skill everybody should know. It's a good skill to know, braiding hair. But basically you just braid it and uh, when you get time to, to get your next uh, bag on, you just uh, poke a little hole. That was totally not what I was originally planning on doing for this, but it actually works so well, and it just slides right in through there, and it, the reason why I'm doing that is it pulls down into this nice little knot, so you are still going to have knots in your braid, which is something that I have tried avoiding in the past, and one of the nice things about this is that it's the splice in rather than knot in, but that's such a nice knot that like it shouldn't cause very many problems in our braided rope here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the next one here. And there we have braided rope. And um, this is six bags. It's about the same length and it took me again probably like two or three minutes um so the reason why braided rope at least in theory is stronger than twisted rope is because when twisted rope is twisted the fibers are spiraled so most of them are going in the tensile strength but not all of them whereas with the braided rope they kind of get slightly more aligned in in conjunction with the 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 arm um, tensile strength so that way they are able to like work together better um it's kind of the, kind of the same uh principle as like a chinese finger trap um if you've ever played with one of those so these are the two ropes that i knew how to make before starting this but there's actually another type of rope that i want to make with these plastic bags that i'm like really curious to try because i saw this on youtube and i was like hey Let's give it a go. So that's what I did. I uh, did the third method, and it makes this very nice, beautiful looking rope. It's kind of a little messy because of the method of making it. Um, it just takes forever. It's really long. So this is actually the next day. Um, I spent so much time on recording that that I didn't have time to edit uh, yesterday. So this is right as I'm like doing the editing, and um, yeah, it took so long. Um, for the practical purposes of this video, um, I'm just gonna leave these two in. If you'd like the third one, I can put that in a video at a later point. 
So with that note, I just want to say thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me, all the people that have watched and have let me know what they liked and didn't like. And um, I'll see you in the next one.